Good afternoon, Vikings. I'm Olivia. I'm Ava. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Interact's March service project to raise money for North Topeka Outreach continues to be through the end of the month. Make sure to keep donating in CALP class. As of Friday, Mrs. Kim's CALP class was leading the way with over $200 donated so far. Let's see who can raise the bar. Interact Cub Club Car Show will be held on March 1, 2021 from 1 to 4 p.m. in the South Parking Lot at Seaman High School. Please see Mr. Collins or Ms. Miller for a registration form. The cost will be $15 before the event or $20 at the event. Seniors, several new scholarship applications have been added to the high school scholarship page and posted to the Class of 21 Schoology page. Please see Mrs. Ross if you have any questions or concerns regarding scholarship listings. Juniors, if you are wanting to graduate at semester next December and miss the meeting, please see Mr. Alexander as soon as possible. The deadline is on Wednesday, March 24th. Seniors, if you plan on bringing a Seaman High School 9th, 10th, or 11th grader to prom as your date, please pick up an underclassman date request from Mrs. Varner in the front office. Due to COVID, outside dates will be only permitted in rare cases. You must have a valid request in order to receive a form from Mrs. Schmidt. Now, on to Would You Rather with Madison Hardesty and McKenna Schuler. Hey guys, it's Savannah and I'm back with another segment of Would You Rather. Would you rather see how you die or see when you'll die? I want to know when. Yeah, I don't want to know when. Uh, see how I'll die. I'll go when. Probably when. Would I rather see when I die? Or how you'll die. Mm -hmm. Or how. Ew, I don't like how that makes me feel. I think, okay, well I'll start what she thinks about this. I think I would rather see when I die I have a feeling how I'm going to die. <laughs> Maybe car oh, accident. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a good driver. Oh man. Say I would say when, oh, so that I could like possibly like get some stuff done, like that I wanted to make sure I could do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to know the how. That would but if you me. know the how, what if you could prevent it? No, I don't want to. <laughs> that you die, you die. What, what you if you do? could like? get your what if you were gonna die of finger cancer and you could get your finger removed what if it's super preventative well, that could if it's preventative i mean you have to be smart enough to and get if it's that. not maybe i mean there's a lot of you have to live live every question. day this one's a lot easier would you rather wear clothes inside out for a day in public or wear pajamas for a week oh i'll wear pajamas for a week that's what i wear usually <laughs> yeah i do pajamas for a week pajamas 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 all week pajamas all that's week. easy would you rather have superhuman abilities or have a credit card with an infinite amount of money? Uh, infinite amount of money. Credit card. Credit card. The money. Yeah, the money. <laughs> <laughs> credit card. <laughs> credit card. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I think it's... Do I have to pay the credit card? No. Oh, pay... No, it's just an infinite amount of no, money. No, I'll take the credit card. Okay. That's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this segment and want to be on it, please contact me or Madison. Congratulations to the following Seaman High School art students who received awards at the National Scholastic Art Competition in New York City. Reagan Carter received a gold medal in American Visions medal. Daisy Solis received gold and Sam Myers received silver. The following Seaman, or five Seaman High School art students had work selected for the Spring 2021 Noto Banner Competition. Their work will debut in Noto at the April 1st or April 1st Friday Art Walk. Congratulations to Anna Broden, Taylor Dowding, Lillian Fetchall, Summer Gardner, and Kendall Smith. If you have received a scholarship, please message, email, or stop by the counselor's office and let Ms. Conley know. Please inform her by April 14th with what you received. Sophomores, if you're looking for community service hours, please stop by and see Mrs. Simino in room E12 or email her for information. Now on to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon Vikings. We just had a little bit of a break from all this rainy weather, but today and tomorrow we are expecting some more rain to start moving into the area. 
Today is National Goofball Day, so make sure to have some extra fun. Today we are going to see our temperatures get fairly warm, reaching up into the mid-60s by later tonight and this afternoon. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, our temperatures are going to be ranging from the 50s to 60s for the next couple of days as the rain moves in and out of the area before we reach up into the 60s and stay there for pretty much the rest of this week. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Zoe. The Kansas District Key Club Convention took place online this past weekend, and our SHS Key Club won a second place award for overall club achievement. Also, Gwen Van Leeuwen was elected to serve on the State Key Club Board as Division 11 Lieutenant Governor. Justin Cruz and Jake Hillard have some interesting insight on March Madness. Students have differing opinions, so let's see what it's about. So, Mr. McAllister, who do you have winning your March Madness bracket? Gonzaga. Uh, why is that? Well, the record speaks for itself, and I think they have the team that will punch through the, their ticket to the Final Four and win the whole thing. Um, do you have any sleeper picks that you like? Well, I like Eastern Washington for that first round, but uh, I don't see them going much farther than KU. Today we're with Chase Crowder, and we're going to get his take on who will win March Madness this year. Who do you think is going to win? Uh, Illinois especially them they're pretty good who's your sleepers for this year uh wichita state go shockers we're with camden barta and we're gonna get his take on who will win march madness this year what's your take uh i got my final four is gonzaga alabama baylor and illinois and then gonzaga and illinois in the championship and then gonzaga winning it all who's your sleepers for this year uh, I got Syracuse in the Elite Eight as a, an 11 seed, and I got Florida in the Elite Eight, too, as a 7 seed. So that's about it. So, Mr. McAllister, who do you have winning your March Madness bracket? I have the UNC Banana Slugs from Santa Barbara. <laughs> Seniors seeking the opportunity to speak at graduation must apply by Friday, March 26th. See your class of 2021 Schoology page for more information. That's it for today, Vikes. Have a great day.